everybody. This is our first Wine About Funerals episode with Lauren, Little Miss Funeral, and Carrie. We're drinking a little wine. We're going to whine about something in each episode. Um, and today we're talking about bad funeral jokes that are told to funeral directors. However, the other day I met with a family and they were telling me about a joke that one of the funeral directors had saw them at, he was, he's an older director and he saw him at a, um, like a cafe or something. He was like, Hey, how are you guys doing? He goes, you know, I'm going to be the last one that ever let you down. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> it hurts me so bad that one of my own, like actually used that bad tacky joke. Like it's funny because you can ask any funeral director and they're going to have about the same list. Like my number one, and I'm betting it's your number one, is when people come in and go, ooh, I bet people are dying to get in here to see you. I bet people are dying to see you. Absolutely. That is like the first thing people say. And I'm like, is it an icebreaker? Is it a joke? Are you serious? Are you really? I think, I feel like it's people are uncomfortable to be there. And yeah. so they want to like, like you said, break the ice or make themselves feel a little more comfortable. And so they say it. And so you like, some days I'm like, oh, that's funny and some days I'm like oh that's the dumbest joke it depends on like the day that you're like, having like if you have you having know, kind of I'm like oh I've heard that one a couple times you know depending on the person and the situation I know I always do my laugh like <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a good one I have it that one four thousand times <laughs> there's there's so many of them and I think I feel like it's not even just the older generation that says them like it used to be, but now I feel like younger people are starting to say some of them to me as they come in and I'm like, don't do it. Don't be that person. But they, they do. And they just say probably it. because they're hearing these jokes from the older generation and they're like, Hey, have you guys ever heard this one before? And it's like mm -hmm. once or twice, maybe, maybe once, I don't know, maybe in passing. Um, or yeah, like, oh, it must be nice to not have people who talk back to you. Yes. And I'm like, actually, I work with a lot of people that are sassy and talk a lot because I work with the families. And you It's know so funny because anytime I hear that one, like anytime people are like, like, oh, your clientele must be really quiet or like really quiet or whatever. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, I do work with the living to serve the dead so people are still talking to me and, I, and then people like at that point are like oh well I guess it's not a joke then because you just made a valid point so that, it's not like you're in the back room just hanging out with dead bodies and not like talking to anybody in the world but do you put the yeah. fun in funeral like that one you mu or hey you must put the fun in funeral or is there a fun in funeral? Yeah, it's like th there's a hundred ways to word it, and I think I've yes. all of them. It's funny. I feel like the play on the word earn. Has been yes. What did I have here? Like the t-shirts and the cups and all this stuff. Like I've earned it, and I blah. Or what was the one you said? You earn a living as a funeral director. <laughs> like that's new to me. I have not heard that one a lot. That that one was on um. Order the Golden Rule, their blog. Oh, okay. That's, I think that's what it was. Mugs around a lot lately. Like funeral directors owning mugs that say, you know, something about, um, I'm trying to think what they're something earned you've earned. This is not associated with that at all, but one thing that I love that I found on Amazon the other day, and you can find it online anywhere, or when you come to the flasks and it says like embalming fluid on it and it's a yes. flask. Well, there's, I got a coffee mug from Pims when I was out there. They sent in it said, you know, this might be embalming fluid. Yeah. What about this? Did we say this already? God, the wine's already kicking in. People must be dying to get in. We didn't. They must be <laughs> dying to meet you, but not dying to get in. It's so true. I always, and so here's my comeback. I always say, I hope you're, you'll be like, Ooh, I can't wait. I hope I see you soon. And I'll be like, I hope you're coming in the front door, not the back. And there's only certain people I can joke with that about, but and yeah. they totally get it and they think it's great. But it's some of the regulars that come to the time and they just, you know, they, ha they have a lot of levity about the whole situation. But There are some prearrangements that I do with families and by the end of them, they are just like, oh, I'm so happy that I was able to set up my funeral arrangements. And I'll tell them, well, don't go using them anytime soon, okay? I know. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Yada, yada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, memes. 
Oh, <laughs> me too. I do. Um, have one. Or did you see that one meme that's going around that's like, I can't wait till I die and I'm cremated because it's my only shot for a smoking hot body? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put a, a bag of kernels in my pocket so I make popcorn when they stick me in the crematory. Or... Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Hold on. Let me have another sip over here. <laughs> when I was in mortuary school with the fellow funeral kids, one night we were very bored and we, that's what we called ourselves the funeral kids we were very bored one night and we decided to make a music video i'm not going to tell people what the music video is for because it is still on the internet and honestly like i am mortified about it and it's something like you know how everybody has those regrets in life well i have the regret about making this funeral, <laughs> this you know funeral. I'm gonna that. dang it Dang it, this wine. We're never, we shouldn't do this again because I can't articulate what I want to say. But anyways, we did a video and in the video, I wore my friend's shirt and we were all funeral kids, mind you, in mortuary school. And the shirt that I wore in this video said, party like a mortician, grab a cold one. So that's something that people will like not say to me every so often, but like, I feel like that's a saying that popped up on a lot of those funeral director gifts that we were kind of talking about. Yeah, so like the funny meme sort of stuff. Yeah, because I don't feel like anybody's ever said that to me, but I've no. saw a lot of lists of funny things to say to funeral directors, and I'm like, I've never had anybody tell me to grab a cold one. I feel like that's weird. Like Competition no. must be stiff. I feel like using the word stiff is just weird when it you must make a killing <laughs> i'm laughing because of the wine guys here's a good idea so if you post a, a joke below and it is a original joke for us and we will choose the best joke and that person will get a 20 minute zoom video the three of us having a drink answering that person's questions about funerals I'll use my funeral. That bundle. would be fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. We'll do that. So we'll choose a, a joke from people's posts and uh, we'll skip. And blow our minds with them. Give us something good. Give us something yeah. we've never heard of. Yeah, don't, don't be lame. Don't be lame. <laughs> don't do it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I know you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.